Welcome to another podcast of iconic video game characters. This one is about Pac-Man. This one was one of the first games, or possibly one, of that was in an in arcade that appeared in 1980. And has been and has been appeared in more than 30 licensed sequels and spin-offs for multiple platforms. He is a very iconic character, maybe one of the first arcade games ever made in the world. There are a lot of people that know Pac-Man, the yellow dot with eating white dots and being chased by ghosts. He has been up there have been updated versions of Pac-Man. And Pac-Man has also been included in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He is a b- really great as as he is with the villains also being the ghosts. And he, when he gets to have one of those chubby white dots, he um, turns big, and the and the ghosts fear him and turn darkish blue and run away. That game is a really great game, in my opinion. But if you want a game that doesn't have a story at, or being a story told kind of game, Pac-Man is just the game that is right for you. Because the game will not have a story, but you will just have to continue to being chased or to follow the ghosts and eating the white dots. So being Pac-Man... Or playing as Pac-Man is not as is not that bad, and a lot of games will have a story, but Pac-Man doesn't, and and his game is really fun to play, having an increase of blood when you're being chased, and it feels intense when they're all catching up to you in one whole team, and well, that is really fun. If you like to chase. And Pac-Man has also. He has gloves. He has two shoes. And he's yellow. Of course. But as we play him. We just see a yellow dot. Eating white dots and being chased. Um, The white. I mean the body of Pac-Man. Can be found in Google. But not in the game. Because. They wouldn't include the whole body in the game. They just included his his head, which is the yellow part, the yellow dot part. And the arms and legs come popping out from the body. And Pac-Man is actually really fun to play. I played it when I had nothing to do and didn't want to play a long game. Because sometimes you feel like you don't want to play a game that's so long. Or to play a story in the game. Maybe sometimes you just want to play and do nothing. And well, not not like that, but like do nothing in the goal except survive. And that's why I think Pac-Man is a really great game for those who don't like to have a story uh, in the game that will be long. And Pac-Man has been has been updated. The mobile game is called. Pac-Man 360, I I assume, and I think it is, and I've played it, and the thing is, the background, the base, the maze starts breaking down, starts having a virus type, and the ghosts also chase you still, and you eat white, do- you eat yellow- white dots, and the, the maze is breaking up and the point is to not get catched by the virus or the breaking maze you have to find your ways out and that's why i think pac-man is still having a bright future with its developers and its company which is um um i forgot but i will um search it up and a bunch of people and it's a simple design that pac-man has and everybody likes it well i like it because it's roundish and it's super fun and he becomes big as i told you and the pac-man developers were namico namico networks rt 
Interactive Brains, and Gremlin Industries. Pac-Man has been since a long time, 1980 May's action video game, and has ever been played with it. Yes, a bunch of people have been playing Pac-Man when it first came out, and maybe even still here in the future. That's why I think Pac-Man has a bright future as a game. Well, that's it. Catch you later on my next podcast.